Hey, hello and welcome to this really fun and informative tutorial by Flowmotion. Today I will show you some really cool tools that will speed up your workflow a lot. Maybe they will even become your new workflow. And hey, if you watch till the end, I will show you how easy it is to get paths over from Illustrator to After Effects. It has been scary, but it's not anymore, so stick around for that. And all of you watching my videos, you all have that tool and most of you may not know about it. But no worries, I have your back. What is the dude even talking about, you may ask? Let's just go to our Creative Cloud desktop app. This is where you install all the apps like After Effects or the beta versions over here and where you get all the updates. But did you know about that small icon here? That simply may have some of the most powerful features of all time of the Creative Cloud. Quick actions. What is that? Well, it is what it says. Let's quickly go through the most popular ones and after that I will show you a few that are nice to know. So, remove background. Yes, you don't need to know Photoshop or anything. Just drag and drop it on here. And a few seconds later you have your result and can simply directly save it with transparency to your desktop. No settings for file types or technical details that may be disturbing. Just what you need and nothing more. And if you want more, you could go into Adobe Express, which is all online and simply make an awesome design or maybe a flyer. Or directly import it into Photoshop if you are more familiar with this. Okay, next up is the resizing option. Again, without opening up any program or software. And this is really well thought out. You want something for social media? Simply choose your desired one. For example, a YouTube thumbnail. And now I can reposition or scale it and again work on it in Photoshop or directly save it. And what I like about it the most, you don't have to know the settings. Also for exporting, there are no options because depending on what you choose, the tool sets up your output to the correct file type and adjusts all the parameters automatically. Now let's create a GIF file. Just upload your video and now you can choose quality as well as the size, aspect ratio. Again, you have a preview and once happy simply download it because again, what you see is what you get. So the same goes for the convert to mp4 action. No fancy stuff. You can decide to include sound or to mute it and simply download the mp4. Oh, and if you wish, you can also set in and out points. Clever thinking. Trim, resize and merge, well, does exactly that. No need to show you. But here is a really cool action that you need to know about. Converting into a SVG file. And if you're not familiar with that type file, the naming could be a bit confusing. Maybe they should have called this vectorize image because this is exactly what it does. So let's use this image cause I want to animate this later on. And now I can open it up in Illustrator and have all the parts as paths in here. Parts as paths, parts as paths in here. And now I can also finally show you what I've promised in the beginning, how to work with paths from Illustrator in After Effects. Hmm. Opening the SVG file or the Illustrator file or EPS. Hmm. SVG is not even an option in After Effects. AI and EPS files can be imported, but I don't get any paths or masks in here. But hey, worth mentioning that I have them as vector, meaning I can scale them up as big as I want. And when I click the Collapse Transformation button, they will be rasterized and be crisp and sharp. Okay. But that means there's simply no option, right? There is. It is easier as you may think. In Illustrator, just select the path you want and I select all of them, well, and copy all of them and in After Effects, simply paste them on a layer and have all of them on one layer in separate masks. <laughs> Nothing easier than that, actually. And this is where we will end this today. Let me know what you think about all of those time savers. And for now, I wish you a lot of fun 
animating ice cream in After Effects. 